everyone now i'm here with my next video of array operations in a book you are having five operations insertion deletion searching sorting and merging in this video i'm going to consider about insertion and deletion see first of all we have to work on single dimensional arrays because in our course double dimensional array is not there that's why i'm going to provide details of single dimensional array insertion and deletion see first of all insertion means means if you want to insert some element inside an array insert means what you want to provide any element in a particular location but it is having a fixed size you are not going to change it size dynamically if you want to change during runtime it is not possible that's why written fourth point insertion in an array is possible when we reserve some extra space with within an array see i already mentioned see the diagram then in last and already mentioned the reserve space see it's the reserve space see here is our reserve space because i declared one array of size n but for reserving one more place i'm adding one i can write 10 but for showing you all that's why i written 9 plus 1 because i want to show i'm adding one reserve place and see the second point array always has a fixed memory location array size never change during runtime you have to remember this that's why we are taking already we are taking here when we are declaring an array that time we reserve one extra space for insertion and then how we are going to insert an element see first of all what we have to do we have to fill an array with the elements till position 8 see till here you have to fill elements one position is reserved for <coughs> insertion only that's why but insertion is going to done by user and user is going to provide us a location also and value also then it doesn't uh, uh, make any sense that uh, we are thinking that uh, uh, every element should be inserted in last no anywhere then the user is going to provide us that location as well as value of what uh, that value to be inserted and see the value to be inserted is i written 18 i want to insert 18 in third location that's why point, arrow is pointing towards third location. And what we have to do if I'm directly placing element in third location means if I'm writing 18, then 18 overrides 3. And I'm going to place that 18 by overwriting 3. It means we are removing something. No, we are not supposed to remove anything. We have to insert in between array element. Element should be there. We are not supposed to do that. We are not supposed to overwrite any element. We have to shift elements and we have to place one element between all the elements. That's why, see what happened. We have to shift each and every element 
right next column in right next column that's why we are shifting if i'm shifting from here i want to shift three then what happened eight is being override three is placed over eight means again we want we are removing something we are not some supposed to remove anything that's why what we have to do we have to move from last we have to shift 19 in an empty space means this space contain 90 and after that we have to shift 30 over 19 then 19 is going to be overwrite with value 30 and now 19 becomes 30 and then we are going to shift 25 on 30 then 30 is override and written 25 and then 17 is going to be shift on 25 then 25 is go going to be override with 70 and then we have to move 8 on 17 17 is override over and written 8 after that 3 is going to be override on 8 then we are getting 3 means we are having our value we are not deleting it we are going to shift it towards right side and then we are having every value with us and now we are going to put 18 on 3 then 3 is going to be overwritten and we are going to place 18 on the place where the 3 is placed we are having each and every value we are not removing it we are just shifting it i think you are able to understand what i am going to say one by one we have to shift that element toward the right column and then we have to place our element in that position where the user want to place element and then see how we are going to create a program of insertion see here first of all what we have to do we have to all these things were common i'm not going to explain again we we have to take the size of array from user and then i written end num square bracket is equals to new end size plus one again size plus one because the user is going to provide us any number of size and then we want to show user that we are inserting something in an array that's why Oh, plus one I had already taken see plus one I had already taken because I want to reserve one extra location for insertion now see next line we are accepting elements from user and I am going to place it in Namai one by one after placing I am going to ask from the user that enter number to be inserted and position then i'm keeping the number in n and the position in p p for position n for number and then i want to show user the what are the elements user already inserted before insertion elements are i'm going to show user each and every element by placing space Firstly, users convince what the elements are placed inside an array. After that, I want to shift and place that element in between any of them. Then our logic starts from here. See, the insertion logic starts from here. These are the formalities what we are doing to make the things attractive. To insert elements inside an array now we are going to insert an element 
in between array elements then the logic comes what are the logic see first of all we have to move the last element first in a reserve location the last element a last element is 19 we have to move 19 in a reserve location then see what we have to do actually this position is size minus 1 this position is size minus 1 19 is size minus 1 why because previously uh, array size is 9 and this location is 8th location means size minus 1 and this location is 9th location we want to shift last element in a reserve location because location is empty that's why it's written i equals to size minus 1 see i had written here i equals to size minus 1 this one and then i am going to shift each and everything see i had written num i plus 1 means i want to shift 8th location element and 9th location element means in num 9 I want to shift num 8 that's why I had written num i plus 1 this one is i plus 1 this one is i I am going to shift each an element in the next element in the place of next element till the position occurs means I should be greater than equals to p that in this position i want to insert element that's why till this position i want to shift each and element each and every element if this position is second position of an array then till second position i want to shift elements and in second position i want to place element that's why I'd written P here. From path location, I from path location I'm going to shift elements. If P is two, I want to shift that element in third location. Means if value of P is two, then I am moving it in three. If it is i, then it is i plus 1. See, that's why I've written num i plus 1 equals to num i. After that, after shifting, these, log these two lines shift each an element towards the right column. And after that, see here what I've written num p equals to n now in that location where the user says i want to insert element in path location then already some values place inside path location and then n contain 18 i have to place 18 inside p then what i have to write see the line num p is equals to n n contain 18 num num p is num 3 location now in third location what we are placing 18 that's why 3 is going to be overwrite and written here 18 now everything is okay numbers shifted we are placing that element and then I want to show user that insertion is done. How we are going to show? We have again we have to show it by using loop. But now previously till size minus one we are executing. Now one element is inserted. That's why I'm executing till size plus one one by one i'm going to display the elements to the user 
see what happened next after creating this logic output is i am going to insert four element the size of array is four elements were one three four five i want to insert element that is two in position that is one array always starts from zero then one then two then three array sizes four means array sizes four but already one i had taken reserve this one is reserve place means zeroth location one two and three i'm showing to a user only this much only this much i'm going to show to a user see in four location i'm going to insert one then three then four and then five i'm going to insert all these things and after that i'm asking from the user what you want to insert and in which position you want to insert the number user want to insert is two and in position that is one user want to insert two in one position then uh, according to our logic we are going to shift elements one by one means we are placing five here and then after that we are placing four here then after placing we are, we are placing three here and then we are putting two in this position then see what happened before insertion it is one three four five and after insertion it is one two three four five i think you are able to understand what i am doing with my logic see everyone in deletion in deletion of an array we have to remember that nothing like deletion happens just overwriting occurs we are not going to delete anything see i told you earlier array always has fixed location we are not going to change the size during the run time that's why after deletion operation nothing i told you earlier that nothing deletion happen nothing like deletion happen you are just overwriting it means memory should be there memory we are not going to change then how we are going to show that user that we are deleting something just one more location we are not the last location we are not going to display to a user that's why written tell length minus 2 previously we are going to show user length minus 1 last location we are going to show user after deletion we are not going to show that location that's why we the loop we are executing till length minus 2 now see with the example you are going to understand example is if i am having an array that is a with 10 elements see what happen we are declaring an array and then after that we are filling that array with the elements that is 5 7 12 3 8 17 25 30 19 20 these are the elements and we are having that positions also array contain the uh, position that is 0 1 2 3 4 up to up till 9 because if we are having uh, array size that is 10 the location always moves from 0 till length minus 1 means tell 9 and now user is going to is user want to delete the element of third location that is 3 user want to delete 3 then what happened i told you earlier nothing like deletion happen the cell is no, not going to be deleted just remember nothing happen like deletion then what will happen how we are going to delete that element just remember we have to overwrite it how we are going to overwrite it we have to place eight in place of three we have to place eight in place of three 
then if we are putting 8 in place of 3 what happen 8 is go going to overwrite 3 and going to be uh, going to take that position means 3 is overwrite with 8 then we are having 8 here after that we are going to shift 17 then what happen 8 is going to be overwrite with 17 after that on 17 what we want 25 and on 25 what we want 30 after on 30 what we want 19 and on 19 what we want 20 see what happened in place of 3 we are having 8 in place of 8 now we are having 17 in place of 17 we are having 25 in place of 25 we are having 30 in place of 30 we are having 19 in place of 19 we are having 20 in, in place of uh, 20 we are having 20 because nothing like deletion occurs but in front of user we are going to show this much the last location we are not going to show to a user if we are going to show only the element that is 5 7 12 8 17 25 30 19 20 till 20 then you what is visible to us that element 3 is deleted it is not deleted it is overwritten we are going to overwrite it it is overwritten and we are having a last element with us but we are not going to show to a user that's why it's written length minus 2 because length is 10 previously we are showing till 9 now i am going to show till 8 because i want to show user that one element is deleted see now i'm going to create that logic in front of you all everything is same as previous one i'm accepting array these are the logic of accepting array and then i'm going to ask a position for deletion tell me the position to whatever uh, the element you want to delete in a which position then you are going to provide me position of that then i want to show the user before deletion array is in this form and after the del deletion what happens the logic of deletion comes starts from here just i want to what i want to uh, what i want to do see if I want to place an element in third location, then firstly I want to shift each and every element where if I want to insert element in third location, no, no, sorry, if I want to delete element from third location, what we have to do, we have to just shift element of fourth location in third location means that's why it written num i num i plus one this one is i and this one is i plus one that's why it written num i and num i plus one i want to shift element of fourth location and third position the same way i want to shift each and every element in different different location third one fourth one this fifth one in that in that way i want to shift each and every element that's why i've written num i is equals to num i plus one one by one each and every element is going to be shifted and after that i'm going to display elements till size minus one i'm going to display previously i'm going to display smaller than size and now i am going to display smaller than size minus one because i want to show them that one element is deleted and now see output output is we are in we are having a size of array that is 
फाइव मीन जीरो लोकेशन वन टू थ्री फोर टिल फोर वी आर हैविंग देन वी आर इंसर्टिंग एलिमेंट्स वन बाय वन वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव एंड देन सी वॉट हैपन एंटर पोजिशन ऑफ अ नंबर to be deleted position is 3 then i want to delete this element position is 3 means i want to delete 4 then what i have to do i have to just place 5 in place of 4 then 4 is overwritten and then the loop we are going to execute till 3 then what happened this happened see 1 2 3 5 previously it is 1 2 3 4 5 and after deletion it is 1 2 3 and 5 these tricks you have to use because array have fixed size you have to deal with that array you can do anything with that array but make some sense use some sense in next video i am going to tell you about searching and for this if you have any doubt then ask otherwise goodbye and good luck